Jackson perspective now from one longtime BNM Bloomberg guest, Ross Healy is chairman of Strategic Analysis Corporation and Portfolio Manager at McNichol and Associates. Ross, great to see you. It's nice to be here, John. So you've been covering these Canadian <laughs> banks for many years. Um, how would you describe what you see in front of you right now as they've been reporting their results? Well, um, what I would describe it is uh, is 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 an opportunity. Mm. Okay, and uh, not the kind of opportunity that uh, that those uh, those earnings would 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 seem to suggest. Okay, you, you should understand when you're when you're taking a long long look at the banks. Okay, that they that they tend to fluctuate between uh, two. I, I would. I hesitate to call them extremes because they're not all that extreme, but um, but uh, but but roughly two extremes. Um, when you are looking to buy a bank, the question is, what are you looking to buy it for? Uh, if you're looking to buy it to outperform the index, that's one thing. If you're looking for it simply for the long-term investment uh, potential, that's another. Okay, uh, fifty. Two years ago, um, uh, I was a partner at uh, Scepter Investment Management, and my job was to was to beat the bank index. That 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 was it. Okay, so I always had to one pick the ones that were going to outperform. Well, you learn when you when you do that, you learn an awful lot about the dynamics that drive the banks. And one of the things that you look for, and one of the things that you're kind of secretly hoping for, is bad news because you want those banks to get hit okay so that they get very cheap because banks have a powerful powerful tendency to revert to the mean so that means when they get down there they're that's what they want to do and when they're up here that's what they want to do so a bank that's very very highly valued wonderful but we know that its tendency is to is to slip whereas the bank down here very wonderful. I, I think when I think when we sort of talk in in general terms about bad news, yes. we're talking about the state of the economy and whether the economy is going to get weaker and whether that's going to put pressure on some of these banks. And you know, we think about the mortgage market and all that kind of stuff. But what, 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 how do you think about that? Well, uh, when when I when I look at the banks specifically right now in 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 the fourth quarter. Uh, what I look is a, uh, a, a group of companies which, I mean, we're, I, I think we're probably heading into a peak in interest rates and, and, uh, and falling, and I think the banks are probably figuring that out. So what you want to do, you want to throw everything that you can uh, into you know, all your expenses into the last quarter of the year. So you're going to clear the decks. This is for, like the, the kitchen sink This style is the kitchen sink kind of a syndrome. In your yes, opinion? indeed. If you're going to lay somebody off, this is a quarter to lay um, uh, somebody off. Get those expenses into this quarter because you want, okay, that, that, that open field running uh, next year. And if you're like uh, Scotia, um, and you and they they've thrown in a lot of stuff. Uh, if you can get your your shares down, next year should be really good. Well, that's what I was going to ask you because you said uh, very early on your job was to find the banks that would outperform, outperform the 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 bank the, index the index yes, itself. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Which banks do you think are in a better position than others on the investing side? Like if you had to pick banks as an investor right now, which ones would catch your attention? Uh, if, I'm trying to, uh, if I'm trying to beat the uh, index, I'll, I'll probably go with uh, Scotia, uh, Commerce, um, perhaps Bank of Montreal. Um, I'm, I'm indifferent to, to TD, it's, 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 it's getting down, but it's not getting uh, low enough. And, uh, and, and, and National and Royal are kind of up there a little bit higher. So I would be tending to, to, to buy the really cheap ones. If I was looking long term, uh, as I say, say you, 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 you ought to take a look at the balance sheets of the, of the banks. We, we have, uh, our, our, our stock charts have 30 years of bank um, uh, book value trends on them, and they have an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful 
trend for 30 years. So sometimes when somebody will call in a TD, what would you do with TD Bank? You have other problems in your portfolio besides TD Bank, okay? Okay, just, just hang on there, okay? In other words, don't do anything about it at all. If you're looking to outperform as, as, as I am, then you can buy the uh, cheap ones. But outside of that, these companies are extraordinarily, brilliantly managed. They've had that, that, that underperformance in the short term and they, in the long term, exactly. you're, you're in, a buyer. In this, in this period of when we've had the, the rising short term rates very sharply, yes, of course, they have come down. And, and, and actually, we've had almost two years of underperformance. And uh, that's fairly that's fairly rare when you when you when you have that that degree of underperformance you you tend to expect there's going to be a bounce back and if we get uh, uh, rate decreases next year you can bet on the on the bounce back. Ross, 